Sure my friend, let's get started. Hey friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video we will answer these two questions, how to use Readwise and how to connect it with Notion. Feel free to use the timestamps to jump directly to what is most relevant to you. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the most obvious step and to create an account in Readwise. If you go to this website, readwise.io and then you have a couple option here. If you go sign up and then you can go with Amazon or Apple for this tutorial. I will use just email and of course you have to create a new account. So I go over there, sign up and then once again you can choose Amazon and sign up with the email. So I will go with the email. Okay, after you sign up, you will land on this page. You have a couple options here. You can connect with your Kindle, Insta paper, supplemental books, and Readwise Reader. This is an app from Readwise, it's super powerful, and they have a lot of options here. You can check if you have your favorite highlighting tool in the library. And for this purpose, I will go with Readwise. Reader, I highly recommend if you have this option. You can skip as well and decide it later. But for this purpose, let's go with Open Reader. We just go back and you'll be in the Reader app, I hope. Sometimes you go back to the dashboard, but you can type this one in the end of the domain and you'll land here. Okay, we connected the Reader. If you don't see this page how you can achieve it if you go to readwise again and then you can see here the reader it's have highlighted new we click on reader new get start for free and then if you click here they will see hey you have already signed in to readwise click to open reader and then you will land on this web page in this video i will not go too much in detail to reader readwise and let me know in comments below if you're interested in full guide of readwise reader i can make video about this as well full guide explain everything in detail about this application so let's go back to readwise here and dashboard next step we connected our readwise reader for our example here let's connect kindle as well okay now we have to add this extension here Okay, and then you have to sign up. You will do it quickly. If you sign up to your Amazon account, you will land on this page. So you can see, if you read on Kindle, this is a Kindle highlight page. And you can see it everything here. Okay, now we connected Readwise, Reader, and our Kindle account. What we just installed, you can click on here on the extension button and you can see Readwise. This extension do the exporting from Kindle to your Readwise database. If you click on this one, you will go back to the dashboard. And of course you can go back to the Readwise website or if you just click on this extension, you will land here. And don't panic if you don't see this is connected. I will take care of this later. Don't let it bother you that here hey i just connected why it's not showing okay after we done this step you can see readwise imported our highlights from kindle and we are ready to go now you can see here that we are connected with kindle and readwise reader once again if you was on this page and if you go back to readwise no panic if they still have this connect you have to click it again and then it will jump back to the website and update your notes okay now we have a couple options here we can click on skip of course or we can take a look what export features are supported you can see that a lot of them i hope your favorite is here in this purpose we will go with notion we will do it later so let's go back if you click here on readwise important to know you will see this dashboard only if you connected your kindle and have some highlights inside 
if you don't have a Kindle and don't have any highlights from Pocket or another application, you can actually uh, start highlighting here for you for this example or you can go here and atomic habits and you can select a book and they will add some highlights to your database in readwise and later in notion this is possibility as well okay let's go back here and then let's take a look for what we have here in the dashboard you have the connect and sync highlights browser highlights like books we have here four books then you have additional and text here and mastery flashcards it's like if you want repeat or review some highlights often so you can write a question i can show it later uh, in my readwise um, dashboard how it looks like and then you have here configuration reviews let's take a closer look to the configuration for review you can follow along this is my preference for example i don't like to receive emails so we have already a lot of emails so i don't like to have it in my email mailbox i know a lot of people like uh, this feature i don't use it at all so i turn it off you can change here the time if you prefer this option uh, when you want to receive this emails the email will send you the highlights you highlighted in kindle or articles and readwise reader and then i will send it to you that you can review it let's go with this one i prefer this feature that i get notification on my app and then i can review it um, i can show it you later as well let's do three highlights i think yeah three because it's enough for me and you have a couple filters here quality filter receive bonus highlights uh, you can turn it off or on let's take it like this one and then frequency you can adjust if you have your favorite book for example steve jobs you can go up on frequency you can slide this up to more or less it depends on your need if you have get used to it you try it out and then you see what you like and don't like and then you can come back and adjust this all right so we're almost done with a little tour in readwise one last thing i want to share you guys is yeah this icon here if you click you can see at the moment we don't had any reviews or statistic at all if we jump to my private readwise i can show you how it looks like if you use it on daily basis my longest week was yeah almost 400 days and then i forgot to review it and i break my habit but no worry you can start over again you can see accurately in five days weeks i almost use it on my iphone it's pretty handy you can review it very fast and a lot of fun for me at least so take two or three minutes to review your highlights and then you remember everything you read in the past remember i mentioned earlier about the mastery flashcards we can take a look how exactly it looks like i have four here okay we have here one of one of my mastery flashcards from the book uh, from derek silver and you can see i write a question you remember better things if you ask your question about specific highlights or books or topics you can see it here yeah when i recall it then for example here i recall it then i forgot it again and then i recall it and so it will stick around for a long time i hope you can see here like some crazy analytics when i reviewed okay let's review this card for this question i remember it should be how i can help you best right now let's take how i can <laughs> beat you <laughs> okay i had some typo here i will fix it later how i can help you right now or how i can help you now you can see the original highlight what was inside how i can best help you now i have to fix this <laughs> all right you may be wondering okay this everything is great feature so how i actually connect this to my notion let's do this right now we go to the export settings here or over there let's go with this one and click this button connect and then connect to notion to readwise and then 
once again <laughs> you have to install extension worry we almost done here turn on sync okay let's look into our notion here so we connected with our notion and now we can start exporting to a useful ninja yeah, you can do some presets here export automatically yes we want to do this include highlight location i can show you what this mean you can toggle on or off use compact layout looks everything good to me let's start exporting it takes some time all right we are finish our exporting don't freak out if it takes a little bit longer to export and the first time you connect it it takes some time no worries you're on the right way now we have options here open on notion web or open notion let's go with open and notion app and check what we got all right if you notion you may be already noticed it's automatically created a readwise database let's take a look what we got here it looks fantastic all right we have this four books first thing you want to do you will change the font style this is absolutely ugly ah much better now we have a couple options here let's take a look every option if you click on this toggle okay, you have a little guide here how it works pretty useful sometimes but we don't need it we will delete it now let's take a look uh, what we got here you maybe already see it's pretty cool they exported covers as well it's pretty handy very important to know sometimes it's not always the case if you have articles they have sometimes weird cover i just want to let you know if you start your exporting maybe looks different okay books articles of course we are at the moment we don't have any articles tweets podcasts and all let's go with this book and let's take a look what we got here first most important thing don't change all these properties here keep it like this one because it may be can happen that you have some issues later with exporting uh, you can always add new properties with no problem but don't play around with this one let's take a look you can see i have some highlights from the book remember mentioned earlier include location it's this one if you click on this location you directly jump to the yeah, location where you highlighted i don't use this feature very often but it's nice to have let's take a real example of our connection work with readvice and notion remember in the beginning we set it up the readvice reader it's because it's very fast if you highlight something it's almost instantly in your database so let's check it out we have this is getting started from reader oh, by the way you can use it pocket or insta paper the basics principle are the same let's go ahead and okay keyboard shortcuts uh, if you highlight it you can see it it's pretty easy to highlight it pro tip if you add h1 it will directly make the big title the notion structure i will show you in a minute what i mean it goes for h1 h2 h3 we highlighted this one okay this is maybe important for us and this one as well and okay we have another here and we go with h2 save okay we highlighted this a little bit and browser extension we will go okay so we highlighted everything okay we are ready to go okay, let's take a look if we can find our highlights first step let's check if everything works we go to readwise dashboard and we can see we have one article this one works already beautiful now let's take a look how it looks in notion okay let's go articles beautiful we have it here and remember what i mentioned earlier this h1 h2 h3 you automatically get the same structure normally if you highlight it, it will appear with this but i like to structure my documents so i don't have to structure it later i use it quick pro tip here this is h1 h2 h3 so and then you can achieve it something like this absolutely beautiful i love it and you can see they have a little summary here and table of content 
pretty handy and how many highlights we check it out before. Important to know if you're on the trial version uh, you maybe not get instant highlights to your Notion database uh, automatically because we can go here on the free trial it's the rest of your Notion content you have to upgrade to the paid version I think it could be that you can have to go here and start exporting to your Notion database you have to click this button uh, on the trial version but if you have the paid version uh, it will do automatically you don't have to jump here and click every time this button thing only in the trial however I think I have a 30 days trial version uh, I put everything in description you can try it out and let me know if it works and that you get 30 days for retries sometimes you get message hey notion lost connection you just go back here export highlights and then you just have to reconnect here this happens sometimes i don't know every couple months and happened to my database as well so you have to go back here another thing actually if you use apple books it's not really automatically you still have one one time per week or per month or do it weekly basis you have to press one button to connect it's because apple ecosystem and yeah readwise apple books don't allow some automation you have to do manually you may be thinking oh cool there's all great features here but how much it's actually cost i put everything a link in the description uh, every website i mentioned here you can check it out here on the pricing list you have like readverse light and readwise basically you can check if maybe the light version it's enough for you i paid for the big one for um, almost three years i think i use it very long it's it's totally worth it in my opinion uh, if you go with a yearly plan it's um, a little bit cheaper you can check it out read everything here yeah it's pretty cool let's uh, summarize what we just did so we connected our readwise reader and kindle app and notion and then we installed two extensions you need for automatically you push it to your retries database and then later to your notion page here we got some tips and tricks and i hope i answer all this question if you still have any question make sure leave a comment i give my best to answer these questions right one last thing readwise on the phone or ipad is much more powerful than an, on your pc i highly recommend to try it out it feels less friction and it's really fun to review it you can play it around you can create some master cards what i mentioned earlier or review your highlights um, you can download it and play around and then you figure it out if you like it or not and also you can download the readwise reader yeah. and try it out as well i use it all the time especially on my ipad it's pretty handy thank you so much for your time and i hope all your question questions are covered and you can connect your readwise to your notion all right see you in the next one